Cracking the Code, Understanding Conditionals in English Grammar. Hello, language learners. Today, we are going to tackle a crucial topic in English grammar, conditionals. If you've ever found yourself wondering how to express possibilities, hypothetical situations, or dependencies between events in English, then you've come to the right place. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of what conditionals are and how they function in English. So, without further ado, let's dive in. When we talk about conditionals in English, we're referring to sentences or clauses that express hypothetical situations and their potential consequences. Conditionals are made up of two parts, a condition, often referred to as the if clause, and a consequence or result. They're typically constructed using the word if, hence their name. Here's an example to illustrate this. If it rains, we will stay at home. In this sentence, if it rains, is the condition, and, we will stay at home, is the potential consequence. The entire sentence is a conditional because it presents a hypothetical scenario and its possible result. In English, there are four primary types of conditionals, the zero, first, second, and third conditionals. Each type is used to express different degrees of certainty about the outcome. The zero conditional is used to talk about facts or situations that are always true, like scientific facts. The first conditional is used to talk about real and specific situations in the future that have a high likelihood of happening. The second conditional is used to talk about unreal or hypothetical situations in the present or future. The third conditional is used to talk about unreal situations in the past. We'll delve deeper into each of these types of conditionals in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. And that's our introduction to conditionals in English grammar. Understanding and mastering conditionals is a powerful tool for expressing complex ideas, hypothetical situations, and the relationships between events. Don't worry if it seems a bit complicated at first, with practice, it will become second nature. In our next videos, we will explore each type of conditional in more detail. Remember, learning a language is a journey, not a race. Keep practicing, stay curious, and you'll continue to make great strides in your English language learning journey. Until next time, happy learning!